Bow boy. Bow boy. You know what? We usually see eye to eye on a, on a lot of things. Um, not today though, bow boy. Uh, Fat Rabbit, which is a Phoenix band. I liked it for a bit, but then it reminded me of CCR. And nothing felt too, too original when I was listening to it. Now, here's where we had a sort of, I had a meltdown. Flowbots. Um, I first heard of this band when they had, a ra when they had that radio hit. Uh, that was in LA, and I don't think you could get away from it if you happen to turn on the radio. Um, okay, there's just something about this band. They're from Denver that I just I can't buy into, and I don't buy it. It's a uh, it's the lyrics, the delivery, the whole musical approach seems white, just white. I don't I don't know how I can help, how I can put this. Um, I understand that they have this sort of political message that they're trying to get across, but it just, uh, I feel like that doesn't give them a free pass to suck as hard as they suck. I feel like they're trying to be authentic and they're trying to be really passionate about something, but it just never, you know, takes hold. And uh, again, it's amazing that they became popular, but nothing is surprising in music. Um, Derek A. Derek A. You cheered me up after that with uh, Folk Implosion. Folk Implosion, I'll tell you why. Um, although the song isn't, you know, it's an okay Folk Implosion song, but uh, I ended up listening to, you reference a song called Natural One, which is on the kids' soundtrack, which is an awesome song. I could listen to this song over and over again because it's a sort of a case study in simplicity and just nice hooks. And the bass line is so awesome in this song and how the drums are recorded and sound. It just sounds like you're right there in a practice studio or practice rehearsal room with the drums and bass. How they work together, how the guitar comes in, it's really tasteful. It uh, just sort of, it, it peeks in and out. Um, it's just tasty song. Um, it's a great, great, great song. And uh, I ended up watching this video four times. Okay, uh, Allison H. Allison, I was wondering when someone was going to mention Fever Ray because uh, Fever Ray is on everyone's year-end best of list. Okay, this is the, uh, in case you don't know, this is the solo project from the chick from the, from the band The Knife. And um, it's electronic, atmospheric stuff, and it's pretty cool. The, uh, I love this, uh, the If I Had a Heart. I love the video. I love the whole presentation. I love the song. There's something about that song that reminds me of uh, 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 Don Henley and Boys of Summer um, and for some weird way. Uh, I didn't think that... Um, well, we'll get into this later when I talk about Fever Ray again, but... Um, I've listened to this record a bunch, and I don't think it really deserves to be on the year-end best. Maybe, but I didn't. I actually only thought that there were two songs that I really liked, and the rest was filler for this record. Um, but this one song is great, and maybe that's all it takes nowadays to make a good record. Um, the next band you suggested was a band called uh, Fantastic Magic, and they're a San Diego band. And in many ways, um, this was just... a uh, a pleasant surprise. This was like trippy, raw noise mixed with um, like a mellow jangle guitar that appeared in, in every track. Um, I really liked them, and I probably because I just couldn't pin them down. And um, if you know these guys, uh, I email them, but I haven't heard back from them. Um, if you know these guys, tell them I would love to have these guys open a show for us. I don't even know if they're together. Um, but that was nice. Um, Scott H. Scott, you came in with... Yeah, I don't like the epoxies. I just didn't like the epoxies. Um, Frightened Rabbit. Um, that makes two rabbits in F so far, which is strange. I like this video. 
Uh, I think they're from somewhere in the United Kingdom, maybe Ireland. Uh, I thought the drummer was particularly awesome in this video because he was rocking an egg shaker and the singer was convincing. Definitely convincing and they meant it. You could tell in the video that this band meant it and, and they weren't faking it, which is nice. Um, and the, the lyrics were also, uh, were also pretty great. Um, so yes, I, this is a band like Foles where I will like have this band in my head and definitely listen to, uh, to something else next time I hear about them. Okay, you suggested Fever Ray again and um, uh, yeah, I pretty much talked about this. Um, I, I wish I had went to their live show because I heard mixed reviews on the live show as well because I heard some said the lights were great and that's what made the show. Other people said it was just boring and they sampled too much stuff. Um, I really wish I was there to talk about this now, but I didn't go. Um, seemed like everyone in the world was there in LA except me. Um, but what do you think of the, of the record as a whole? Yeah, and then again, what makes a good record? Is it two songs or is it the whole thing? And what qualifies a record to be on a year's you know, best of list. Because I think a lot of people, might even be people in my own band, because we, I put up like a year end best of list. I can't really say anything because I've only listened to like a few records through and the whole, I mean, over and over again. And that happened to be I Will Never Be the Same and our remix record. And I actually, this Fever Ray record was another one. But I think it's got to have like an overwhelming like majority of the songs on a record to be great for that record to qualify as a year's best. Um, I think a lot of people just end up uh, just listing because they think they should, because other people do. Because we all like to follow, don't we? Um, okay, Erica May. All right, we have to have a discussion. Here's the deal. Okay, you had five posts, three bands, and 12 links. You need to just really cut this down. You need to keep it simple. So go with one post, two bands, two links. One link for each band. And you could try, and this is good for everyone, Keep a band like in the 2000s and then you can go any other band. Or just list one. You can ask a question, whatever. But it's 12 links is tough, okay? I did click on all of them. Unfortunately. Faster Pussycat was one of them. Uh, um, here's what I was thinking when I was watching this Faster Pussycat thing. There are still people in Los Angeles that are walking around like they're in that band. Um, I think it's these people that could benefit from a blog like this because we just need to refresh, you know, sort of get out of that mode and it's tough for people to, you know, stay current or at least know what's going on. And that's when I mentioned Dino before, is a great source, Dylan, you know, all these people, everyone on here that's mentioning like 